I'd like to start by saying I hate haul videos, just so we're, we're clear on that first. I hate haul videos. I mean, it's what the people want though, right? Give the people what they want. I, I don't know. Is that what we're doing? We're giving the people what they want. Are we gonna do this thing or what? I'm down. You just gotta tell me when. Down? Tell you when? Yeah. The light is on. Okay. Is it light? Light? I don't see a light anymore. Oh, because it's covered up because of the wind suck. Mm hmm. So, this is our freaking grab for today. Uh, wow. Let's just take a moment and go through it, man. We'll start with, uh, start with that. So, I got Coleman Camp Fuel to go with my pretty ass Coleman Camp Stove. Now look, I have a few of these. I'm a big collector of this Coleman stuff. Uh, behind that canine up there is lots of Coleman stuff. But this one was in such fantastic shape. I had to have it. It's pretty good, right? Yep. There's like nothing going on here. This thing is just pretty. I'm gonna take this away so you get to see. You're here. gonna take it away? I, I wanna keep it. Well, you... One of mine, one of yours. What'd you get? What's your favorite thing from today? You can't say favorite, because favorite's bad. Favorite is it. Your favorite is a $5 ratchet? Uh, $5 Flying V Craftsman. One of the uh, more sought after wrenches in the Craftsman lineup from... Next one. Uh, I'm you. gonna go... Uh, huh. This would be my okay. favorite. I know I really didn't do my favorite. Sega Game Gear. Boom. We got Sonic. Sonic and Tails. You know what? I gotta see what games we got in here, cause this, this is this is half the fun, right? So you're at your friend's house and you're like, what games we got? Well, we got World Series Baseball. We got Vander Holyfield's Boxing. Chicago Syndicate, I don't even know. Seems nice. Sonic 2, nice. I think I picked that up last week. Uh, Sonic Regular. Poker Face Paul's Blackjack, what? Desert Strike, now that is fun. That is probably one of the best handheld ports. Sonic Triple Trouble. All right, I don't know if any of these are big dollar guys, but Take Ren and Stimpy, Quest quest for the Shaven Yak. G-Lock, can't really see it through the case, but that's G-Lock. And then Columns, which was a packing game, usually uh, your, your best answer to Tetris on the Game Gear. And I got this Game Gear, and this Game Gear checks out. So, what's your, I'm your next pick. Talk to me. And if you're gonna do what you're gonna do, you yeah, gotta do all of it. I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. I ended up buying a bunch of airsoft stuff. In the end, I don't think it was. This actually gets us uh, kicked off of. No, it doesn't. Yeah, Mac 10. That's actually very nice. Yes. But again, I don't know brand wise, because this is very, this is unbranded. I can tell you that. The one's W E uh, uh, Baby Kappa, and then uh, the other one's a KWA uh, CZ. But I don't know about this one. This one's a little, little uh, suspect. Okay. Well, well, I'm just gonna hit. A, I'm gonna hit a bunch of stuff real quick. I got a photon. I got. First, choose wisely. Choose the laser that really works together. It scores on the helmet. Scores between phasers and the module. I'm going into tech photon it's all in the box the only thing it's missing in the box is the styrofoam it all slides into which is probably my the most disappointing part fell apart but for me that is really cool because that is one of my favorite things when i was young i wanted photon more than anything i got laser tag laser tag the game that moves at the speed of light which it was the better but I wanted Photon because of that damn helmet that lights up and whatnot. There was a television show and the Photons were awesome. And I'm gonna put some damn batteries in that and do a real quick test. We'll do, we'll do a test video. <laughs> some Louisville Sluggers. I mean, you can't go wrong with a little bit of persuasion, right? Yeah, a dollar and for free. We call them price adjusters. Yep. You walk around with one of these, everybody suddenly decides to give you a lower price on everything. Couple manuals, Just got some Virtual Fighter. I mean, these manuals are, have lately have gone through the roof when it comes to completing collections, CIB items, 
you know, nobody is nobody kept the damn manual, and I believe you were looking for this one because you have that game. Bye. All right, and then uh, Pinbot, I think that no, <laughs> nope. I turned down. that up. I turned that down. We were at we were at one flea market. I turned it down. Went to another one. It was there. So that's what happens. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, All right, so we're moving through. Next is front and center. It's the welding helmet I bought. It's a Jackson. You bought it's a, a welding a, helmet? Yeah. I keep buying more. I have a problem. How many do you have now? Uh, more than I can count on my fingers, I believe. Which you're, <laughs> you're gonna need to do is create like hanging something to hang them all on. But anyway, it's an older Jackson. I think it's from the '80s, to be honest. But uh, five bucks. Made an old fiber fiber mat. All that fun stuff. That's really about it. Yay! Yay! I think this one was your mom's purchase, but uh, she was looking at it and staring at it and staring at it, and the guy's like, $3 for the whole thing. And this is all Coleman campware. So this comes with all your... Yes, this is all Coleman campware. So you end up with pots and pans for days. I mean, do they need they to be clean a little bit? Big deal. I mean, it was perfect because I ran into that Coleman stove after, uh, before this, and then I looked there and said, well, now I gotta go back and get right that next, Coleman stove. Wasn't it right next door? Well, they were basically a few parts away from each other, but when you yeah. combine them together, you end up with uh, Voltron, you know? What's next? That should be the Scout. The same gentleman I got one of the bats from. Does this say Homart on it? Yeah, it says Homart. Homart! It's a Homart Scout. Older flashlight. I mean, it's got some problems with it, but that don't matter. I'm not looking for it as like a collector's a item. a bulb, sir. He's a bulb and it has a little compass in the back. A compass so you can tell where you're going when you have your flashlight up. But yeah. my question is, if you're using a flashlight, now this is just thinking. You're using a flashlight, can you see the compass on top? No. Right, so here you are trying to find your direction. You're trying to see where you're going, and then you need to use the compass, and it's now dark. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it, glo maybe it glows in the dark? It says Germany. Germany. Yeah, Germany. Deutschland. Deutschland. Iron Man, 290, foil cover, really nothing special. This is when Tony died in the comics, and uh, then he came back one of several times. Of course, Tony's dead for now. Uh, probably permanently because I just heard that Robert Downey Jr. says he's done with the series. He's done with Marvel. He's done with the paychecks. Done with all the paychecks. Uh, next would be the files that I got. Those files were a buck for four files. Yeah. You not cannot them, beat that. No. Not all of them are in best condition, but that don't matter. I'm not... You can file that file. under deal of the day. Yes, sir. File it under deal of the day. <laughs> ah file it under four large files not exactly the lightest of uh grains i guess you could say file that under Your turn. silly i don't know i'm gonna i'm gonna do a twofer here because this is mom's tins she got these old tins which we display in our kitchen um this one's all spice these are all empty except well i take that back <laughs> this one's empty and those three are full that's pretty interesting. Brian, what is this? Cream of what? Tartar. Tartar. Not tartar. 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 Um, that's a twofer. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to do these guys. Wheel of Fortune, which I have the manual for in that other pile. Greatest heavyweights. Manual. Paperboy. Attention. Because licensing. Attention. Yeah. Pac-Man, The New Adventures. This is a terrible game. I paid $5 for it. It's worth 3 Whatever. <laughs> NFL Sports Talk Football 93 starring Joe Montana. I love this damn game, and it's so stupid. I have probably four copies of it, but I have to have it. I got Pink Panther Goes to Hollywood. Pink Ghost Hollywood? I got to look into these. I didn't price these out. Bubsy. Bubsy, Bubsy, Bubsy. What could I hate this game. What could possibly go? But I had to have it. And then another 10 gen, Miss Pac-Man, another licensing, 10 gen, in case you didn't know, had to do with the NES Play 10 chip. There was a chip in NES that only allowed NES games to play. So a company 
made their own games that did not have the Nintendo seal of approval, which appears on all Nintendo games. Let me see. You might Yay. even have one on there. Mm, no, no. Oh, no, there it is. There's Open it up. So this is not the same, but if you see that seal right there, right there, the Nintendo seal, that appears on the games, and that showed that those games were licensed to operate on a Nintendo Play 10 chipset. That's a lot However, a company called... 10 gen interesting uh built their own version of their games and there was a big lawsuit that ensued no i'm what you, uh, fair enough uh, so is striker same deal that came with uh, all the games as well as the uh game gear it's uh i priced it on the way home it was only 12 bucks but it still is pretty darn good for being part of a large bundle got a bunch of old hot wheels 200 SX, SC400, old Mustang, some random hot rod. You bought me a camper. I'm so happy. Yeah. I want a camper, and Brandon bought me a camper. Bought him a camper. Here you go. Oh, thank you so much. And then the biggest thing that I've been looking for lately is uh, these cars that look similar are from the Acceleracer series. Is that one from Acceleracer? This one's from the Acceleracer. I specifically remember this one because Pork Chop or uh, Monkey Wrench drove it. I don't remember which one. Hmm, interesting. I'm taking your car. What for? McDonald's Fraggle Rock Collection. How many Happy Meals did you have to eat to get all four of these racers? Um, and that's the complete set that we are aware of. So pick that up. Perfect. Relatively inexpensive today. Very happy. He left, so I get another one. Oh, I'm coming back. No, I. Everybody needs a level for a dollar. I know it's dumb, but I have a super long level and I have super short levels, and this one right in the middle. I got two things. One can go where it belongs. What's that? I don't know. Dunlap? Yeah, a Dunlap. Yeah, it looks like a Dunlap. Uh, single cast bottom vice. It's cracked. Regardless, it's a nice. It's a nice vice for uh, for five dollars. K W A C Z. Come on. Lip magazine and oil. Of course, he's run off of green gas, so that's always fun. It's cool. What is wrong? Put a BB in the chamber. I don't even notice. Oh my God. That's. And then, uh, well, we get some banners, and I'll I'll show those off. The the more I look at them now, they're really good from a distance, and then when you get them close, they're. Uh, yep. They're a little rough, so they'll go high up out of the way. But I a box of cameras. A box of box cameras. Is that a double entendre, right? Yeah, I think so. Box of box. 1900s, early 1900s cameras. We've got a couple of box ones. I'm a huge uh, fan. Coop, Coopie. Coopy? Coopy? Coopie? Got this one. I mean, some of these are real junk. But some of them are pretty cool. You got a Kodak. These cameras, they don't really hold up. I mean, you're talking about box cameras again. These are probably over a, over 100 years old at this point. Uh, this is what I was really looking forward to is I have Kodak Brownie, Kodak Bullet Brownie, Kodak Star Flash Brownie, I have Instamatic X35, I got two other Instamatic X25s, not bad, this one was pretty cool. The Polaroid Land Camera Model 80A. Look at this thing. This is your Polaroid back in the day. Another Kodak. This is another. Instamatic? Uh, Hydromatic. Hydromatic. Ultramatic. Woo! Nobody knows what that is. All right, can you, can you, I have one arm. I only have one arm. Can you just pull that open? Oh, look at that. Look at that bellows act. This is a brownie reflex synchro model. This one is kick butt. Very happy to have this. And the entire box of cameras I paid 25. 25 bucks for. So I probably got about $25 worth of cameras here. It's not a big, big grab. These box cameras being as old as they are, don't really pull a lot of money. I'm, no, I don't got anything else. That's it? I mean, I can only talk about the other thing that I got because they're already gone. Unless if that, I don't know if the footage is corrupt or not. What, or the what, manual. What part? Oh no, the manuals we got. So okay. we're gonna cut right now to our next haul video, which is actually our haul from last week. And unfortunately, Pardon. it's let's go back in time. 
altogether not a bad little uh, score for this weekend. Uh, filled in a couple voids in our selections. You know, I'm I'm building my my Marvel collection. Got my grubby. I've got some cast iron to trade for other stuff. Uh, got my cool Hoosier racing sign. <laughs> Ended up buying two signs today. Uh, we don't know anything about signs in this household. Absolutely. What are they made out of, sir? I think they're ta uh, I think this one's made out of aluminum. This one feels a little bit more like steel. It has. They both look like aluminum. This one. But so, I, this is a this is a cast bottom vice. I only bought it for thirty dollars. It looks like the bottom has had a repair on it, but I don't mind that as long as I mean it, cast, I mean solid. Yeah, well, it's a it's a single, it's a single piece. And then and then the part I really really couldn't talk. I said to talk about that too. The part I really couldn't talk about is that because I'm not a welder. You're a welder. You're the you're the welder guy. Yeah. You know you're. I don't know anything about. I know you pay twenty bucks for everything in that bucket, but I don't know what's in uh, that that's bucket. That's a pretty okay deal. You got a big electrode. I don't know. What's it? What's okay? I don't really look at this much. All I know is I got it. You just bought it. Yeah. You're like, ah, oh, fuck, money. Yeah, you said five bucks. I was like, okay. You're like, ah, oh, bleep, money. Yeah, I'll, I'll research some of that. Uh, but the rest of these are all stainless steel rods. For for. for stick welding. Well, don't breathe that in. Oh yeah, don't breathe that in. But it's like off gassing. Some of these aren't in the best condition, but regardless, you bought them for the containers. I bought them. I bought them partially for the containers because this is almost a full rod size, and you can use those all day long. Cool. Well, that's very cool. And then is that all that's in there? It's just a bunch of rods. What's yeah, a bunch of rods. There's a uh, the cardboard's just there to as a placeholder. Not really anything in it. Very very cool. The coolest part of probably was the Aladdin rods. Aladdin because uh, these are a general fix rod. This is like does everything for fixing trailers uh, White metal die cast raised aluminum solder aluminum and galvanize and okay. really technically can't weld galvanize without Can't weld galvanize. galvanize well You can't weld galvanizing without taking out the taking off the coating. Oh, okay. That's the main part rock on well, that's so. our haul um that's it pretty much broken down and uh again we're gonna switch to this every week we're gonna post one of these videos along with any videos we do uh, obviously on the cars like i said earlier but we started this channel with the idea of doing this uh and also some of our you know what's in the box series where we purchase yeah. where he purchases toolboxes <laughs> that have tools in them and then uh we leave it up to uh maybe we'll do a watch a live party yeah, you know, one of those one of those live streams, and we'll go through it. I don't even know if anybody would watch, but you know what? It would be really cool, and then we could go through it and try to figure out what the hell we're looking at. Yeah. Um, so maybe that's what we'll do. We'll do this week. We'll go do a live stream, uh, you know, again, something pretty cool to watch. Yeah. Uh, so that's it. Thanks for stopping by. We appreciate every one of you. Uh, like and subscribe. Do the thing. Uh, let us know if this is a good format, if you enjoyed this, if you want to change, if you want to see us get more in depth than what we did if you want to see us walk around the the damn uh flea markets and thrift stores we could try doing that uh, we're open to everything but we just love to film stuff right mm -hmm. that's kind of how it goes i almost forgot a little extra bonus content so eh, leaf green Let's see if i can find the creme de la creme in this one other than dbz is worth a good bit you said creme de la creme already creme de la creme didn't even know what the creme de la creme is. Diminished cap. For nice. this for this load. And you have that game too. Yeah. And you have leafy green. Yeah, I got. I think I got leafy green. Pretty sure. I got so leafy we got green. leafy green, and we've got. And we got two games now with now the pamphlets. I, got, I know I got Kingdom Hearts. We got Kingdom Hearts. Now we have the pamphlet for that. And the Adventure Link. We got the Adventure Link. We got the pamphlet for that now. I don't have uh, Oracle of Seasons. Oracle of Seasons. But I gotta find that. Wow, one. that's a. It's a Game Boy Color game. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, a water dragons, damage. yeah. Some of them are water damage, but I'm not too concerned about it. Children of Mana, check that out. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one I was talking about. I ended up having uh, Sword of Mana and Children of Mana. Good one. Namco oh, Museum. Cool. Namco Museum. Harry Potter DS. But I did math, and uh, I ended up 
only getting up to $139. I missed about five manuals, so there's a chance that there was something like $9 in what there. What'd you pay for them? I paid $20. $20! I paid $25 Sold. with all the cake. With that, we're really gonna end the video now because yeah. we're out of daylight. It's kind of, it was a beautiful day. Oh my gosh. Kind of let you know fall is in the air. It was uh, only in the upper 80s today. Uh, 60s this morning, so. Beautiful. It, it does feel like the seasons are starting to change. But at that, we'll see you in the next one.